The National Library Board is expanding its school reading program to more schools next year. These students are honing their storytelling techniques to become school reading ambassadors as part of the National Library Board's Read at School campaign. The library has a variety of customized programs for schools to choose from based on the needs of students. And the programs are gaining traction. About 240 schools have signed up for the Read at School in 2014, up from 154 this year. And to find out more about the benefits, I have with me Ms. Li Yifong, a librarian on the program, and Jillian Ho, a participant, thanks for joining me. Miss Lee, tell me, what is your role on the program? Um, I'm basically a librarian, and I go down to schools to conduct reading activities to the students. Okay. Yeah. And okay. I understand some of these um, programs can be customized. How do you go about customizing a reading program oh. for a school? Yes, because basically we have one librarian to each school. Uh, who will work closely with the school teachers to discuss um, the needs of the schools and see how our program can fill the gaps. And then we will show them our activities and then um, pick you know, which genre, which book that you would like to introduce to the students. And then we will also uh, seek teachers' advice on the reading proficiency of the students. So okay. Make sure we match and, it and Jillian here is one of the participants of the programs, right? So Jillian, tell me what, uh, what are some of your activities so far? We have uh, Anthony Horowitz, the spy. We had to design, um, design any design that we want on a spy gadget. So we had to use our ideas. What genre is this uh, author in? Um, science? Science crime. fiction? Crime. He's crime. Okay. Yeah. So is that your favorite genre? Yeah, it is. Okay. What other genres uh, were you introduced to? Uh, the Hobbit. Um, the... <laughs> How they cook the mystery. Okay, so okay, so fantasy and mystery, but uh, science crime is your is your favorite one at the moment. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, Miss Lee, what um, any when you come up with programs, uh, what are the concerns that some of the the, the school has? Uh, yeah, we will take note of the different uh, different types of readers. Mm -hmm. Like um, we have programs for uh, reluctant readers, mm -hmm. which is uh, what Jillian just mentioned. It's called Literature Circle, mm -hmm. where we introduce uh, different genres and good authors for this um, group of students uh, who choose not to read because you know, they think reading is boring. Yeah. yeah. So then we try to make it exciting, you know, have game-like activities. Yes, uh, yes that, that related to the books. So um, the whole intention is that so that they get hooked on the book. And then um, we also have uh, school reading ambassadors, which are for the avid readers. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that um, we, we be providing training so that they can promote reading uh, to their peers, mm -hmm. you know, um, because um, we realize that you know peers' pressures yeah. is, is very effective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Miss Lee, how would you measure progress? Um, currently, uh, we have the um, pre and, and post survey yes. for the students. Mm -hmm. So it's like before they embark on the program, so they got to answer a few questions, you know, about their existing reading habits. And at the end of the year, then we get a post survey. And then um, we do a comparison, and we will share the result with the schools. Okay. Yeah. Now, Jillian, now that you've been introduced to, you know, uh, crime uh, by your favorite author, are you planning to look out for more types of the same books? Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. Do you have any names in mind, or has Miss Lee suggested any names? Um, so. So it's mainly by genre? Yeah? Yes, it's mm -hmm. by genres. And I, I believe that Jillian actually bought the whole series of Anthony oh. Horowitz, Alex Ryder. Okay. Yeah, and then she finally she had time to read and then started to read. Yeah, you want to tell us and, more? And that is a good measure, isn't it? That the students yes, uh, exactly. themselves have uh, initiated yes. uh, buying uh, or collecting books. Mm, mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. So it's like, uh, for us, it, it's truly uh, um, um, heartened when we see students uh, come back to public libraries yes. to look for books that we recommend during our book talks, or even look for us, you know, to discuss about books. Yeah, so uh, like one of the school share with uh, me that um, the school pupils love going to the public library after my book talks, and then uh, often they do it without telling their parents. Right. Okay. So yeah, we have frantic parents, you know, um, uh, approach school to find a missing child, and mm -hmm. often they're not, they you find them and in the library. And that is a good thing, right? That's yeah, a measure of yes. progress. All right, Miss Lee, okay. thank you. And Jillian, thank you. all the best. Thank, thank you. you. And that was librarian Lee Yifong and student Jillian Ho, both involved in the Read at School program.